Welcome to Use Placeholder Text the Right Way. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, one of the new things we have in Business Central version 24 or 2024 Wave 1 is the concept of placeholder texts. And, um, and what, is a, what is a placeholder text, you might ask? Uh, a placeholder text, you have seen it a million times, just never in Business Central. Um, let's uh, let's let's go here for a second. Here is the customer card. Like we have the the address field here, and right now the address two field is empty. Um, so we could actually, you know, put something like grayed out in this field to give the user a hint of what is going on. Um, so the easiest way to, to do this will probably be to, let's go uh, extend customer card. Uh, see here, let's quickly do my layout. Let's modify address two um, and add an instructional text is the field. Uh, so we can do instructional text is uh, sweet number or all flat number something like that I like that's pretty good uh, so let's deploy this again I think I set it to start a page that doesn't exist so we will get mad at me here but we can we can live without that so let's go back to the customer And you can see now we have an instructional text in the, in the field. And, and that's probably fine, but actually I think this is the, the least attractive way of using something like this. Uh, it, it's kind of look, you know, looks like there's too much, too much instruction here um, so let me let me show you how I think this feature could really really benefit us so if we go back here and let's just get rid of this thing for a second here uh, and create a new page I something so um, let's add another zero to this one. Um, and we can just use the customer again. So customer, source table, layout. But let's actually, this in this case, use a, a page type equal navigate page. Something like that's smaller. Like if we want to create a wizard or something like that. Uh, so let's add a field again so we can uh, we can use a wizard uh, to add um, let's add some let's add the number field where it was it's very often that's about n uh, and then we'll add name and name two and we will add address address to uh, city uh, postcode and we can add what can we add we can add the county and the country there you go that's a lot of fields so let's quickly take a look at that page how that looks That's a page, right? Um, but it's actually not that nice uh, because half of the screen is is captions, um, and the whole idea here is that we we could we could cover this part, and when you look at this, when you look at this. 
you kind of know what you're looking at. You, you, you know, your brain knows that this is a name and this is an address and so on. So it's kind of the, 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 the captions are almost not needed. And of course, what, what we could do then is that we can say, okay, let, let's, let's reduce this a bit. So let's say show caption equal false here. Um, so we'll, we'll, let's remove the caption and we'll do the same thing on here. We'll do the same thing here, um, here, here, and here. All right, so now we have, now we're, I have re removed a bunch of captions. But then, see, the idea was good. The idea was almost perfect. But then the rendering engine in this case gets confused. Uh, so it doesn't really work how I would imagine this to work. In my head, this looks way better. So what, what can we do otherwise? Well, let's think about that instructional text now. Um, so if we remove, let's remove all the captions. So show captions gone, gone. Uh, so now everything is show caption false. Let's run that again. Okay. Ah, oh, forgot a number. Maybe we'll leave number on right now. Uh, but but here's the thing. I can still read this. This makes perfect sense. I know it's a, it's the name of the customer and an address. There's, there's no doubt in my head what I'm looking at. So the only problem is what's in it when I'm not looking at it. Um, so, so what if we then did exactly that and say, okay, instructional text equal name here um, let's say well, let's just keep the number up there just so we know what we're going with so there's nothing on this one then uh, instructional text equal address uh, instructional text equal city uh instructional text text you no know, almost like caption now right instructional text equal um unfortunately we cannot do do it like this dot caption <laughs> that would be cool but no um there's a lot of talk about the uh, the the this keyword out on the interwebs right now uh i guess that will come in a future video anyway uh postal code here uh instruction text equals state and instructional text equal country and then i think because we're on this funky uh page type just because i wanted like a single column it didn't didn't want to mess with multiple columns let's do a trigger on uh, open page perhaps uh, rec dot init i actually have no idea if that works but but we'll figure that out i'll run it again Oh, we still get the first one and there's no rig navigation here so let's uh let's change the page type uh let's see what happens if we change the page type instead of navi i i think i set myself up for more pain uh what if i do a cut part Well, 
Okay, I, now, now, now I'm just messing with myself, I think. Okay, will you cart? Okay, I, get, I, I surrender to the uh, almighty. Okay, so if I go new now, Now I can clearly see that name, address, city, postal code, state, county, right? Suddenly, this kind of looks like, you know, if you're in a web shop and you get into the, uh, in, into the page where you need to put in your name, this is quite often how it's done in, instead of all the, all the captions, because as soon as I type my name in here, hey, Clearly, that field is name, and and the blank bit in between here, well, probably we can figure out what that is. An address, I can I can put something in. I know that sweet uh, Vancouver uh, something, and then it's get get filled out. And now I I know what's in the fields. I, I know what these fields are. I don't need the captions to uh, to help me. And I think, especially if you're in, that's why I want, I want to mess with the uh, with the with the navigate page. It, it, especially if you're in a dialogue of some sort where where horizontal space is limited. I think there's actually a, a lot of uh, great ways that you can can use this. Uh, to get a much cleaner layout, but it, but it's not about it's not about you know adding instructional text to uh, we can still add tooltips if if you want to right uh, so that that's already the instructions uh, so I think from my perspective this is like an alternative caption this is this is a different way of 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 adding a, a caption to a field instead of it has to be on, on the left side of a field and all the dots and all the good stuff, then you kind of an in-field caption instead. Um, and, and, you know, you can do like the trick here with, I didn't really put address and address two in because, you know, people can probably figure out what, what, what it is anyway. Uh, and, if you want, you can you can do this, but but I I, I like the cleanness that can come out of something like this, uh, and uh, I think I'm gonna use it. I, I have a couple of apps where you know those like wizards and dial. It's, no, those those narrow dialogues coming up. I wonder if you can do it in a uh, in in like. In like a, a report uh, request form and stuff like that. Maybe maybe you want to try that and, then, and tell me in the comments below how how that goes. Anyway, that's placeholder text, and I just realized that for the first time ever on this channel, I for some reason just recorded the whole video with headphones on. So I'll take my headphones off and uh, send. And if you yell at, my screen, at the screen all the time, would you read it, Eric, why did you have your headphones on? I don't know, to be honest. I was just doing something else with headphones on, so I forgot to take them off. Um, but now I'm back to the uh, non-headphone version of me. Uh, and I can guarantee that the Eric in this video does not have headphones on. I guarantee it, because I think this was the only one ever, ever in time ever. So uh, check this one out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.